Hello and welcome to episode three of the Punts and Bunts podcast. Uh, this is going to be our World Series prediction episode. Uh, we have Robbie and Sean here with me as well. How are you guys doing? Doing all right. How about you, Sean? <laughs> I'm doing well, Robbie. Doing well. Right, what have you guys? Stuff. What have you guys been up to since uh, we last re- spoke? work <laughs> well i have news i managed to finally get a hold of a playstation 5 after months and months of searching finally got a hold of one there you go and me too thanks to sean ah. <laughs> <laughs> i got my connections i know people good stuff sweet yeah, yeah i made play. a I made friends with the guy at uh, at a local electronics retailer. Uh, we bonded over our uh, love of obscure Star Wars uh, media, uh, and quote, "I looked pretty cool." So he gave me the inside scoop on when some were coming in. There you and, go. Uh, I never felt cooler, honestly. There you go. <laughs> and I benefited from that as well. There you go. <laughs> I was, I was in the shadows just like waiting <laughs> to pounce <laughs> um so i guess we'll just get into it um we've done this in the past i don't know how many years robbie how many years probably have we been going doing back things to, like this going back to before the cubs won it to probably back to 14 or 15 yeah so we've been filling out spreadsheets thinking about who we thought was going to win like the different divisions and everything and uh now that we have this platform thought no better way than to do it this way as well maybe some people will give us some shit for what we pick or who we don't pick uh does anybody want to go first no, let's right. sean go first let's let's sean, <laughs> let's sean go first there you go so i'm uh i'm repping the uh 2b world champs uh, mariners i'm uh my prediction is mariners over cardinals in six games uh, mostly because I'd love to see the Cardinals lose the World Series, and I'd really love to see them lose it against Seattle. So that's my that's my uh, prediction. Sweet, sweet. Uh, Thoughts? I don't, I don't know how I, <laughs> I, I... Clearly, Sean is a Mariners fan. We've established that, and I think that's where it, you know, it's coming from. I'm not saying that the, they're not going to be a good team this year. And crazy things happen in baseball. So, <laughs> yep. I, it, you know what? It's it's certainly a possibility. The Mariners will have a good squad this year, so it will be definitely a possibility that it could happen. Um, and it will all depend on see what the what any team like. You know, once you get to October, it's a completely different season. Anybody who makes the playoffs is, is a golden opportunity to win. So, I mean, we can see what happens. Never know. You want to go, Robbie? Yeah, I can go. Uh, I have the uh, the Phillies uh, over the Yankees in six games. I think the <laughs> Phillies offensively are a solid, strong team, so I think that they should uh, they should be able to win in six games. Who has a better offense, Robbie? The Phillies or the Yankees? Ooh, that's tough. Just going by like, I mean, I think on paper, I'd probably say the Yankees, but. See, I was going to say the Phillies. I would have said the Phillies. I think the Phillies' biggest strength is their offense. Well, see, I would agree with that. But what I'm saying is I think that the Yankees have a better offense on paper, but they're always, always, always injured. So I think that the Phillies will have the better offense, but I'm saying if I'm taking it on paper, written out, I'm thinking thinking the Yankees. See, I think even if you were to put it on paper, I still think it's the Phillies. I, I I think that that team's got the better offense. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. Well, so you, so Robbie, you're banking on like a guy like judge or Stanton to be out for 30 days again, at least (laughs) at some point it's going to happen. I mean, it's yes. Death (laughs) taxes and Aaron judge on the IL. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it's like it's so hard i mean it's like with those guys that are so big it's like the body doesn't just can't handle right yeah it's tough 
So it's like too much body for their like actual structure of their frame. Yeah. Oh, I guess. What about pitching, Robbie? Uh, Phillies pitching or Yankees pitching? Hmm. That's probably going to be the Yankees. See, to me, I feel like the Yankees have the Phillies with Garrett Cole. But then I feel like it drops off after that, or at least there's some unproven guys or guys that just haven't done it in a while, like Severino, who's been out for a little bit. Yeah, but then, I mean, then you got like, I mean, are you talking just starting pitching? Because once you get into the, the I mean, bullpen, right, the right. Phillies, like once you get in the bullpen, that Phillies bullpen has been kind of a train wreck the last couple of years. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> so, um, so it's really, it, I mean, like I said, once you get to the postseason, it's a completely different ball game, and it, it gets to be a crap sheet. So. Right. Um, and in the end, at the, at the end of the day, as long as the White Sox, Brewers, and Cardinals all don't win, I'm a happy man. So ahead of my prediction, I don't know if you guys saw earlier today, Trevor Plouffe made his prediction. I did. And, uh, did it, was, you guys... it was a World Series I would not watch. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching that. They they like did like a live premiere of it, or like they were doing it live. And uh, Jake, he said uh Braves over White Sox. John mm-hmm. Boy said Dodgers over White Sox. And then Ploof said, like you guys know, Brewers over White Sox. So they all have the White Sox in the World Series. I'm a little bit different. I have uh an AL East team in the World Series just like Robbie. But my AL East team is the Blue Jays. That's what I was thinking. I yep, that's yep, that was close pick for me as well. <laughs> And I, I don't know if they can make that leap from missing the playoffs to the World Series and winning, um, but I do have them winning in six games over the Dodgers. Okay. So Blue Jays over the Dodgers in six. I don't know. I was I, kind I like, of surprised. Like six. <laughs> we all did. <laughs> yeah. I was kind of surprised all of them picking the White Sox just in thinking of the situation that the White Sox are sitting with their pitching staff right now. Right, right. I mean, and they've that, got six weeks too. before they've got their full healthy rotation at least. They just signed Johnny Cueto, <laughs> so I mean, a I minor league like, deal. So that may not that may never even turn out. I mean, exactly. But I mean, that's just kind of where they're at trying to find pitchers right now. Is is they're digging up guys like Cueto, and I mean, of course, everybody gets healthier as the season goes on or injuries happen. But I mean, I feel like the state of their bullpen right now does not look like a promising start to the season. And I mean, that can always change. There's a lot of games in baseball, but to for everybody to pick them for the World Series, looking at the state they are to start the season seems a little optimistic. Right. And I mean, off- offensively, I don't think there's a doubt that on paper, the Sox are the best team offensively in the American League, without question. I think the only team that's in the MLB that might be better offensively is probably the Dodgers. Um, and you could put the Cardinals probably in that too with Arenado and Goldschmidt. Um, but it's just, that's, and maybe even the Phillies with their lineup, but I, I think the White Sox are pretty much clear cut ahead in there, but yeah, the pitching, I mean, and realistically, they've not done that much this off season. I mean, they did get Pollock for Kimbrel, um, but they also lost Rodon, which was a huge loss, especially that pitching staff is now, you know, deteriorating with the loss of, uh, of Lynn for six weeks. So that slap dick motherfucker. <laughs> And that was one of the things that that whole uh, Kimbrel trade. I think I had mentioned it to you guys. Why didn't mm-hmm. Why didn't the Dodgers just sign Jansen and keep uh, Pollock instead of probably cap reasons? But... This is Dodgers. I mean, I don't know if they worry too much <laughs> about the cap, but I mean, I guess uh, lug- luxury tax. But yeah, yeah. No. You know what I meant, <laughs> but yeah, it's just yeah. It, I mean, I think Kimbrel will be fine. I mean, it may take him, a, you know, like the last couple of times till mid season to uh, to show his form after going to a new team because you know he never really showed his true form as a White Sox. It took him a, quite a bit of time to show his true form as a Cub, and even with the Braves or not the Braves, um, the the Red Sox as well. So it's, uh, I mean, when he was on the Braves and the Padres, he, he played very well. But, I mean, the, big, the biggest factor in that is warm weather climate year-round. I mean, yeah. he was in San Diego. They have the best climate probably in the country. <laughs> so, right. um, 
but uh, I, I think he'll 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 come off the bat strong in LA because there'll be some good vibes coming off that squad. All right. Well, anything else you guys want to Cont- add before we? Uh... Contrary to Syndergaard's comments. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Hating on Mookie for being a vegan and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't know how you can wear a man bun and then complain about people being vegan, but. <laughs> <laughs> Did you feel personally attacked by that, Ravi? I mean, I do generally wear a man bun and I also eat probably a <laughs> yeah. 60 to 70% vegan diet. So, <laughs> so yes. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that concludes it. We're just going to cheers to the season. Hopefully one of us gets it right. Maybe we get the clout ploof did <laughs> last year. <laughs> And uh, don't forget to actually bet these bets on DraftKings. Maybe <laughs> not a yeah. not a not a not a sponsor. Sponsor. <laughs> All right. See ya. All right. Cheers. <laughs>